Hey guys, so this is the review of the Asus K56CB. It's an uh, almost uh, extra slim, you could close to say it, that it's an ultrabook. You know, it's not very, very thin at all, or I mean thick at all, if you notice it. You got the ventilations, exhaust there. Uh, this is almost a gaming laptop slash media laptop. You know, it reaches around the price range of about $800, 699 I think I have seen it for. Uh, which is what I got it for, and I thought it was a bargain. Uh, basically, I needed a laptop that was uh, lightweight. You know, it didn't didn't take too much weight. You know, to carry around. You know, uh, nice color, uh, island keyboard, and uh, most of all, be able to just fire up a game when I'm away. Uh, I've been using all those integrated graphics, and it's just oh, it's just horrible. You know, can barely even play Minecraft without it lagging, and. Uh, I got tired of it, so I figured I wanted something like this. Um, it comes with an Intel Core i7 3537U processor. Uh, most people on the net have been selling the i5 instead of, on it. It's a little bit slower clocked when it comes to uh, turbo core and base clock. I think it's a 1.8 instead of a 2.0 like this one is. It's also turbo clocks up to 2.8. Uh, using both cores and then goes up to 3.0 and 3.1 when it's just a single core. So it, it's still a pretty competent processor. I think I read some reviews out there that it competes with the Intel 2610 mobile or 260 quad mobile, something like that. I mean, nonetheless, this is a good Intel processor and it does get the job right. And as you will see further on, it's it, it will show it in the review. So this is the laptop you're actually looking for. This is Asus K56CB. Comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, and the fun part about it is that it has a graphic card, which is not that bad at all. It's a GT740 Mobile. According to what they've been saying, is you can play Battlefield 3 on uh, low medium settings, which I can agree is no problem at all. Uh, so when you open it up, you see the nice contour, almost uh, MacBook like, if it wasn't for the screen here. Uh, we'll fire it up here. I installed an SSD on it because I wanted it to boot up really quick. I didn't think that those 5,400 RPM hard drives were quite doing it enough for me. Um, so you can see here, should start up in a few seconds. So yeah, that went pretty quick. Um, any notes about it? Anything, um, yeah, regarding, you got the VGA port in case you want to hook up your TV. Most TVs have this entrance. Don't forget that. Uh, we also had HDMI for you, you new tech savvy users. We then have the network port and the SSD port. The SSD port USB 3.0 isn't that bad. I used the internal hard drive that came with this one uh, before I installed the SSD that I had. And uh, I put in a USB 3.0 wagon and uh, I fired it up on this port and I'm reaching about 60 megabytes a second. It could be the hard drive itself, you know, so don't, don't take my word for it. Uh, but not, not bad, you know, it's still double the speed of a USB 2.0. I'm not complaining. I was transferring, I think, 100 gigabytes the other day. It took me like 10 minutes. So it, it, I think it does do a little bit faster than 60. Also, it's native USB... Um, SATA 3.0, which is good if you wanted to invest in an SSD like I did. I felt like it was hugely needed. I, I got a little spoiled, you know. Uh, but yeah, so here's the the computer. It's 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, the internal hardware that came with it was 750 gigs. Uh, so it makes a lot of room if you just get a cradle for it. You can use it uh, you know, to download all your files on there instead. Um, yeah, what can I say about it? The plus side, it handles pretty much any game out there, no problem. Far Cry 3 is on low medium. I preferred low because I just wanted 40, F 40 plus FPS increase. I, I don't really like it when it lags at all. Uh, Battlefield 3, I was getting around... Uh, on medium, I was getting 35 to 40. And on low, I was getting 40 to 50 uh, lag free. So it felt pretty good. Uh, Minecraft, no problem. Fires up also instantly. Um, quality, I, I felt quality is good, but the screen is so incredibly thin. So sometimes you worry that you're gonna break it. 
Uh, I recommend you guys just be a little bit careful out there. But generally, Asus does make a little bit better quality than what Acer does. So I can't really complain about that. Um, beyond that, you know, it's it's done everything that I've asked it for. It, it hasn't been acting slow. It doesn't take time to load. You know, nothing like that uh, takes time to load. Uh, you can see just how fluent uh, Minecraft is. I know it might not be the best uh, game ever, but considering it's mostly a, a single-threaded game, uh, I think it gives fair reason to show how well the i7 stands uh, when you're uh, playing. Um, I've ca I played Killing Floor on it, uh, no problem. Uh, I can max that out. I've also been playing um, Team Fortress 2, max that out on 120 FPS. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, you know, th this is a good laptop if you don't want to spend too much money, but you still want to be able to, you know, play a little games when you're out with the missus, you know, on a weekend trip and you just can't let your fingers go off that trigger, you know. <laughs> um, the speaker. Speaker is probably the worst part about it, but it could just be me, you know. I'm, I'm not very sensitive, but I just felt like this angle that they, the angle that they put the speaker at just kind of like, launches it up towards you so if you're sitting in an angle like this or an angle like this you're not gonna hear it just as good or as fine as it would if you're just standing right in front of it like the camera is right now um, it does get pretty loud though I do believe if I'm not completely farting around here I'm gonna give you guys oh I haven't checked that yet uh, I know a lot of people use Windows 8 I just I can't find a reason for it Windows 7 works so great for me I, I, that's that's what I wanted you know um, so yeah, I hear you here. Have I turned up the volume? No, it's not even on full. So as you hear, it does get pretty loud. <coughs> not that bad at all. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else more to notice. Yeah, probably for you who do might want to know this. Playing network games, I'd probably use a network cable because using the built-in LAN, I don't know what kind of piece of crap it came from. Maybe I'm downloading it maybe like 4 or 5 megabits a second using this wireless. I got 250 megabits at home through my router that's capable. Um, it probably just felt like they kind of skipped on the quality on that build. Uh, like I said, I use a cable when I when I want to plug in an Ethernet cable, and uh, that gives me the the, the lag-free environment that I need. But uh, of course, it does work uh, browsing on the net with the uh, with the network and uh, wireless network controller. But it's just not something I would recommend gaming for. Uh, yeah, if there's anything else, you know, feel free to post any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, maybe might want to leave you with the temperatures on idle. I'm getting around. 58 to 54, that's because I got Minecraft running in the background. Uh, GPU is 49, I usually reach, yeah, th those are pretty standard temperatures, around 49 and 58 when I'm playing Minecraft. When I'm playing Battlefield 3, uh, the GPU will be 70 and that one be 75. So it's not too hot, it actually feels pretty calm here. Uh, however, it does get really hot underneath here, so nothing to keep in the lap, boys. Uh, keep it on the table, just like it's meant to, you know, don't, don't fart around with it in the couch. Um, yeah, any questions, just feel free to post.